Are you guys coming in on one or two computers? He's jumping in his chair. Is he? He was. Today's an eight day. How come? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the eyes. Can we, we can't hear you. No. Um, hello? I'm here. Excuse me. I went for a big, nice, big massage and got rid of some blocked chakra work. Oh, my God. Do you know it was funny? I was, I was intensely in the middle of writing a clearing convo with a friend, and it, like last night I had the big, some more, and then I, I'm thinking, oh, this is how I screwed that up. And then I'm writing about all the sort of things I did wrong in that relationship, and I was so caught up that I, I went into the zone of you know the zone. Yeah. So forgive me for my own. Elijah, that's what we tend to do as humans. We go into what went wrong yeah. instead of, because it's like, what do I want in my life? What do I want in a relationship? Well, someone goes, well, I know what I don't want. I go, well, if you don't know what, you, if you know what you don't want, reframe it in what you do want. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> oh, okay. I guess it's like saying Mother Teresa said, I will not protest war, but I will walk for peace. Which one takes less energy, Elijah? <laughs> In for peace. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that when coaches are coaching the coaches and everyone's a coach and everyone's coming in with, well, I... I uh. <laughs> yeah, we're all here to be our best selves. Awesome. How are you guys doing? Super. Super. Got and the... it's eight day today. Huh? Eight day. The total of June 24th, 2021, it's an eight day. It's an eight day. Is, I don't know. Wow. It's also think, full moon time, right? It's full moon. Full moon. Yeah. I often think of like the day, I'll put it into like the personality, I'll put it into the inflow. Okay. Like eight being marketing, shining our light. Right. It's a full moon. Yeah, it's so so are you, are you, you're looking at the number of the day and equating it to the inflow and... <laughs> Yeah, you just trumped me in the inflow. <laughs> just for fun, you know what? It's just the way my brain thinks, and it's so much fun. Wow, Shining, illuminating, and it's a full moon. Yeah, wow. that makes sense that it's an eight day, and it's also um, an action like eight is action. Okay, well, why don't we start off just by uh, maybe sharing. Just a breakthrough. I, I want to hear a breakthrough that each of you have had. Okay, do you want to go first? Um, well, my breakthrough was, well, I was going to say, uh, is it a breakthrough? I don't know. Well, let us know. When, when I did, when I um, specifically went through the seven hour map process for my um, purpose. Like that just went really smooth and I just really like that. Um, you're, other, you're, you're fading, I get you. You're fading in and out, so I'm seeing the... I, I, I guess we're not close enough, that's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah, so that was just really, really good for, for me. I really enjoyed that whole process. So, um, I would say that that was kind of my my breakthrough, and what I'm working on this week is to even be more open than I am. Oh, hey, see you, Alvin. Well, come and say hi to Elijah. We want you to say hi to Alvin. This is our very good friend. Oh. Come over here. We have to get you have to oh, go right oh, down okay. here. Okay. You have to come right down. There's Alvin. Oh, can you see him? Hi, Alvin. Hi. I'm going to get rid of this. Can you see so, me? Elijah. Hey, Alvin's is, disappeared. Oh, I know. We're get we're fixing it just for now while he's yeah. here because we really want you two to meet. Okay. Alvin is a very good friend of mine. He knew Lori Ann. He was at one of the events. That's how him and I met. And um, there. There he is. Hi, Alvin. Yeah. He's Hi. he's Hi. doing a, a lot of healing in our province. Awesome. And he just goes to where he gets called to. Awesome healer. Oh. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah and I think it's good. So and even musicians. Mm -hmm. yeah. British Columbia. Oh. And he's the map maker. You know all these maps that we have all over? This yeah. is him. He's the originator and the inventor. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And this right. guy knows. He's a musician. He's First Nations. He's got so much culture and so much heart and soul. Mm -hmm. And he understands ancestral stuff. Uh immensely so he's just our wisdom he comes in and does a smudge every so often for us and different things like that so mm. he's part of our team in his silent quiet way awesome okay? yeah pretty soon we have to get him to come play music very nice to meet you you just text him and say come by all you have to go is i wonder where alvin's been and he shows up now. of course <laughs> of course okay. see you later all right okay. bye alvin no. mm -hmm. that's cool that you two got to meet so, so what what's your what's your breakthrough of the week uh Lori? okay well i kind of had two and the first one was when i went to my dad's house which is still for sale and the tenant is a nurse RN in the health system, but she's also a healer. So she does massage, chakra work. She did chakra work with me. She totally cleared my sacral chakra. And what's funny when she said that, yesterday Sylvia and I were getting stuff ready to mail out to the Dare to Be You people. And we did a, what's that called? A school? We did a school, but what was the thing? Oh, called? a manifesto. A manifesto. We did a manifesto for the ladies. Wow. We, Sylvia put it on the nice paper, and then what I did is I cut it out kind of jagged, and I lit a lighter, and I burned around it, and it gave, and then we rolled it and put raffia. Oh, beautiful. And it, it did something to me. It was like it brought out that childhood creativity, and the girl said something about fire, and I go, oh my God, I love fire. I love this. But my biggest breakthrough was a text that I got yesterday for a wedding gift I bought a few years ago for a young girl and her husband. And look what she sent me. It was a letter. I bought her one of those pots that you, you, you only break it once it's full of money. You break it at the end. I forget what they're called. And I had a letter in it. And she had sent this to me. I knew you'd be interested. And this is the letter I put in the pot for her, And it had a hundred bucks in it. That was three years ago. Oh, wow. So she even sent me the pictures of the note that was on it saying, one day you'll get to see this, her husband breaking it, and then what was in it. Oh, wow. But the biggest part was, okay, I'm taking you on a journey back in time, Lori. We finally got around to smashing it. I filled it up a little while ago over time. So we so, so appreciated then and now. Hope you are doing well and love you. So it was this girl I've known her since she was born and she worked in my company for a little while and I we won customer service or some kind of thing. She came in as an outsider and found stuff out about me and my company that I didn't even know I had because she just went through the systems and started looking for what kind of stuff we had. So that was a total breakthrough for me because Sylvia looked at me and she goes, Lori Renton, you have no clue the impact you have on people in just these little special ways. So that was that was touching for me. And then watching myself speak at the way the leadership I was on today at one. And watching that and having this team of Kaylee and Sylvia here watching the whole thing with me and really going, it was good, Elijah. It was really good. You should have seen Sylvia's face when she saw the, you know, the um, here's the present, there's the past, there's the future. And she saw that mm -hmm. with the with the visionary hub on it. Right. Beautiful. So that was a breakthrough for me because that was a big event that I did. Huge. 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 I mean, so you, you're with peers. You, you, you know, you're taking, you're at the next level of bringing your knowledge into the world as a teacher. Yeah, as a teacher. Yeah. So that's, uh, this is a big week for me. And, and just unblocking that chakra that she found today, it just elevated, elevated me already within the five hours or six hours of my day so far. So I can imagine what the full moon in the weekend is going to bring oh, for me yeah. Just in nature. Keep stretching, leaving open. It's, 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 I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm experiencing incredible creativity. Like there's just, oh, wow. 
Mm -hmm. but it, you know, just it just seems that anything and everything is possible. And, yeah. uh, I kind I, of get my life like that. That is a four, though. Mm. Fours are a bit like that when they're healthy, Elijah. <laughs> they are. And they're like that. The doors are wide open. Yeah. Did you see that two person game that I. I, I... Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. Holy. Have to get ourselves a copy. Like, so, but is that something that we play? In the conversation cafe, we can't see it. If you're holding it, I, I, have, it, it I, I have it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't yeah. that look cool? Oh my yeah. gosh! Like it's a two, it's a, it's, it's, it's a breakthrough. You could have ten people sitting at, uh, I mean, twenty people sitting at, at ten tables, oh. each, each playing it right, and you bring them into the conversation cafe. Like it just, it's, it's a game changer, pretty much. I think. Wow. So are you thinking this would be good in our conversation cafe? Well, the thing is in the conversation cafe, anything could happen, right? So I mean, like, I think when I sent the, the, I don't know what you, I know Sylvia said, she said she'd like them. But I, I when I was looking at, you know, the banner, and I was just thinking, you know, just yeah. needs to be big and simple. What did um, you think of what I sent? Like, what did you send? Can you put it on your screen? Uh, no, but didn't I send you the the the, the conversation the the eleven foot by th three foot banner? Remember you and uh, you had seen that? Yeah, with the headquarters on it. Um, did it have headquarters? No, it, it just said the conversation cafe, and then it had the logo, and then I had, um, and that was kind of like the beginning of just saying like, okay, you got the big banner, you got the conversation cafe, because like banners, people just see one thing, right? And they just well, what's the one thing they see? And then it had the logo underneath it. And then I had um, yeah, the last one that I liked. Oh, okay. Because it was for it's to go on the side of the building, right? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Less is more, right? I mean, I, I, I can add headquarters, I can add whatever you want, but it was just like when I was thinking of it, of, of just like the pure simplicity of like the logo and then the main thing that you're doing. And yeah. then all of, you know, all of my stuff is kind of like hidden within that. It, it, I didn't. Yeah. Was... Oh, with the two quotes, one quote on each side, still be like conversation is food for the soul and every good conversation starts with good listening. Yeah. Out of the three, I like that one. Is that what we want on the side of the building or do we do we want oh. the visionary hub headquarters? That's what we're trying to figure out because we are the visionary hub. Do we want to get that information? I wanted to put head headquarters. I want to put it so big that people go, "What the hell are they doing in there?" Well, I guess it was kind of. I guess I was thinking like the conversation cafe could be your your flagship in terms of like we're saying the 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 hub factor is a flagship, but it's not it's not something that's going to ring in someone's ear as as like what's the hub factor or the headquarters. They're going to go conversation cafe. Like you need one thing that is the the, the, the thing to draw them in. Oh, I see. And then okay. as they get drawn into coming to that, then you've got all the different things within that banner. Mm. Just so the simplicity of just like, here's the conversation cafe. This is the visionary hub. And from there, that's going to bring them in. So what about if we put headquarters on the bottom of it? Could do that. Visionary like, hub headquarters. Right it's underneath. four feet tall. So like just under the logo, you know, the whole yeah. thing. Headquarters. Oh, not okay. as big as the conversation cafe, maybe half the size of that, but the word headquarters. I just think there's something about headquarters to me. Yeah. Interpreting big. Yes. Command center. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. command center, just like behind you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It is headquarters. Okay. I'll. I'll just uh, I'll adapt that and, and send it to you and then. Did you get the link for the PNG? I did. I did. So if you could just put the right because I mean, you must have dug this logo out from somewhere because it looks like it's kind of it's wonky. Wonky. Oh, is it? Okay. It's a little wonky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll adjust. I'll adjust that and then put the headquarters on. Cafe. And like that can be this a portable is banner. Great. Well, are we putting it up there? Are we going to make yeah. it affordable as well? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Why not? And, and then, and then, depending, and again, like the two, the two, 
the two person game board is yeah. I think that is going to be the flagship of the new paradigm toolkit. I was thinking like a monopoly game, right? Like imagine yeah. I've been working on all the pieces for the monopoly game, but I didn't have the monopoly board. Yeah. Right. So it's like when you're playing a game, you need the game board. We got the, we, you know, you have the hub factor, but it's just like, this is, you can have couples, you can have father and son, you can have, you know, a boss and employee. Oh. So many different ways you could structure, you know, the, those, those cafes. So, awesome. so Elijah, how big is this? Like if we were to make one, how big would this it be? Is, this is 20 inches. Right now it's 20 inches by 30 inches. Okay, so 20 by 30. Oh, that's the perfect size. Okay. And they, they print out nice on the foam board. So I'm just oh. I'm just I'm just making a few changes in terms of like because it's 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 to produce like insights, ahas, breakthroughs, and level up. So oh. it's it's kind of like on the left hand side, you have an emotion, it's the first time to have an emotional yeah. scorecard where you're you know you're telling someone where you're at and then on yeah. the other side it's it's going to be changed because i had insight and openness as a as a spectrum but i'm just going to have a scorecard where you do insights aha breakthroughs and level oh. up okay and so they walk away and then they'll have a sheet they fill in of what of, of the sort of the pattern they figured out oh wow oh that's awesome we can take this on the road mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, and, and you could, you know, you can just, we, we got to figure out whatever the uh, the pricing yeah. arrangement is, but you could have like 20 or 30 of them and sit, sit, sit in a room with, you know, 40, as many people as you wanted, right? 20 people in a room, you've got 10 boards going yeah. and two people, and then they can change partners if they want, you can do whatever. We'd have to just play it for a little while ourselves. Yeah. To see how it works for us so that we know how we're going to present it, right? Yeah. yeah. And then what we could do is, you know, I, I have to, I want to do a first print for like, and, and like to get you 20 card sets, yeah. then so you could have them to sell and then you have everyone on who's coming in as a member sort of gets like the, the people like the whole relationship between the allies, the members and the customers, yeah. the customers, you'll be using the tools to take them through processes with the tools. The members are going to be people who go, I want to learn the tools and I want to learn, you know, the whole inside, whatever you guys are doing to build the shared knowledge community. And then the allies, like I was telling with, with Sylvia, is everyone in between, like it's, there's a wide range of people and organizations and how you're going to interact with them. So yeah. some of them may be distributors for you. Some of them may be, you know, partially customers, but partially they're giving you some info tech or something. So allies are, are and then there's going to be, other shared knowledge communities that are being created and they're going to be very different because they're using the tools and then the, the 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 type of shared knowledge that's occurring between you is very different right yeah for sure and depending where you're in the world who you are that like gets the influence going right yeah what did you say about the tribe who was the tribe tribe is members like tribal members like they're the people who, yeah. are, who actively want to be in the shared knowledge community. Yeah. And then the customers are just the people that are kind of one-offs and come in and sit at the cafe and play with the cards and say, I want to buy a deck of cards. Yeah, like they're, they're the people that are just coming in to have the experience. They go to the events. But, but all of the pricing structures are going to have the member price, ally price, customer price, and that's going to have, that's like, I have to make the big sort of estimate form. And that's one of the big missing pieces for you right now. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. has all the price points of, of whatever, all the processes. And so if we're going to get the cards, what's that going to cost? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay. Because members is good. We want the tribes that are going to be paying possibly a monthly fee and doing more training and more learning mm -hmm. to take it out to the world. Yeah. Okay, you know what, I, so I talked to Lindsay Camp last night, we talked for over an hour. Oh, wow. And she meant she phoned me because we were texting. She sent me, she goes, oh, don't you love the eight map? And I'm going, the what map? She said the eight map. So this is the one she sent me. I never saw this map ever in my life. What? Never seen that map. You've never seen that one? Never seen that map, <laughs> ever. But we got the mastermind. We've got that one, the shared knowledge community mastermind one. Right. But not with these nine, three, six, seven, eight outside things. Like you've got the law guild. Yeah. The language guild. And then in the center is the media guild. Yeah. Never seen this before in my life. <laughs> and it's a, it's a 
harmony map. Sorry, a harmony yeah. map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, yeah. So in a sense, that's your allies. Like, oh. like each, each one of, like you'll be creating sort of councils or masterminds, like yeah. a law mastermind. Uh, yeah. Each one of those is, is potential mastermind teams. Well, I, I guess I should have. Sorry about that. <laughs> it, I've never seen like it's this is cool. No, she says it rep represents the 12 allies. So when people come in as allies, they're fitting into one of these things. Oh. So, but what's the difference between this and our shared knowledge community map that we have? Okay, well, what you have, the shared knowledge community is essentially the 144 people that are want to create a shared knowledge community there's going to be all these other organizations out there mm -hmm. that because I, I think it's the, the the allies are more at the organizational level and the and the customers are more at the individual level doesn't mean you can still have an organization as a customer but if, if let's say you um let's just say the law society or something and they go we would like to, to to utilize you so you go okay well you could be an ally which means they get a different because they're coming in with numbers right the organizations are going to have number higher numbers of people which is different from the individual customers who are one by one coming in so let's say they say okay we want to put our our society through you through through one of your programs mm -hmm. so we're going to put 200 people in the province of saskatchewan oh, right. through your program so they become an ally because they're bringing the numbers and they're acting like a distributor. They're kind of like being your sales team in a sense. Yeah, because all of a sudden the law society says, we want to work with you guys and we want to come in and go through this. Next thing you know, they're offering it to every law firm in Saskatchewan and Canada. Exactly. Okay, so we've got to start kind of listing what could be allies, who could they be? Yeah. I have a little book and it's got all the insurance brokers in Saskatchewan. Okay. And yeah. I'm already kind of familiar with them. And I find insurance brokers are kind of down to earth people, but they're starting to get bought out by big organizations. So Knight Archer could be one, right. an example. A rehabilitation center, James. Are you taping us? Yeah. Okay. So like Knight Archer in the insurance world, they could be. That's so that's the allies then. That so, makes sense. Yeah. So how do we bring them in? So we know a customer. I mean, those are, you know, one ons. I think we kind of got that down. Could municipalities um, be part of that? Yeah, because they would be at the, the governance. Is there a governance guild there? You have to go around the Harmony map. Okay. So if you pull a Harmony map, I'm going to get it. Okay. Because it makes it easier when I physically can. I'll, I'll send you that map right now. Okay. Is there more of these maps? Like she called it an eight map. Is well, the, the, yeah. The thing about, I didn't want to overwhelm you guys, but like, there's a nine map and there's always an eight map. Like at each of the four levels, there's a nine map and an eight map. And what you're seeing is the combination of both of them. Oh, it's a combo. Okay, it's, so this one here I wanted to show Sylvia because I printed it off and put it on right. the wall. So, so if it's so, government, what fits into governance? What fits into economics? Okay. What fits into education? Okay. So, because Carrie's already said, Lori, in the fall, I'd like you to come to the school and do some values mapping with the staff. Awesome. Yeah. So she's wow. already wow. she's already planning for that. In okay. The fall. That's fantastic. Like that's, so that's a school system. Yeah. So that would fit into an ally. Yeah, and that would be like through the educational. Through the lens of education. Because essentially, you're taking like. It's, it's like when you bring in a new operating system, it's, it's like you have Windows, right? Let's say you're bringing in Linux and you, you, you put in Linux into the computer. And what it does is it, it all your file folders are down there, but it brings in a new operating system. So this is like a new way to reorganize all the organizations in Saskatchewan. And so because you guys are like the map holders, they fit within your map. And then you, you, you're you're giving them a whole system of Saskatchewan, and then they're seeing, oh, this is where we fit, kind of thing. And oh, and, there, and there's going to be an advantage to the ones who come in first, because they're the ones positioned better, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. But then at some point you've got like all the educational, you know, institutions in Saskatchewan and then we'll have, you know, as the operating system gets built into software, then, you know, every province in Canada. So, I mean, you guys are like the, the pioneers of formatting Saskatchewan in the inflow matrix. Right. That, and then, and then the rest can just follow. Yeah. Yeah. So we're building, oh my gosh. So at some point, everyone's going to be your customer sort of like for communication. Yeah. For communication. Uh, yeah. Like if you, if you remember the four things, there's communication, learning, creativity, and healing. So those are your four main areas. If you can help someone learn how to communicate, learn how to create, learn how to communicate, learn how to heal, <clears throat> you don't have to teach much else. So learn how to communicate, learn how to create, learn how to heal. Well, okay, I have communication, healing, creating, creating and learning. Yeah. You're right. What else is there? Just, just those four, and a human will be fine. Oh, God. Because I just said to Sylvia today, I said, communication, we can just put the topic of communication, mm -hmm. whether it's communication in family, communication in work environment, communication in friendships, mm -hmm. communication in intimate relationships, is a key thing. Well, yeah. and that's, that's the things we want to pick for the yeah. communication. And the path. thing about like the, 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 oh. ga the game board, is like let's say you're bringing in um you're doing the relationships workshop you would just use the synergy conversation cards but then right. if you're coming in and you're doing and you want to help them with their operational activities then you just use the operation combo types yeah. so you, you, you just select which is necessary because we got such a large card set now right. and then when you don't like it's too much right for for the person so you got to really then you bring the card sets down specifically like as a facilitator or designer before they come in you choose the cards that you're going to be using mm, yeah ahead of time and so they don't have the full deck they only have the synergy right. types, but you may have all the value cards yeah. right or you choose or they go through a process going okay now choose 20 value you know five value cards from here so just by going through that process of choosing it's a it's a huge learning experience right and then and then they've chosen their values and they chose and you've chosen the combo types mm -hmm. and then again you can with the with the flow or the choice lenses depending on what you want you bring them you 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 shorten the options but then you have enough for them to go through the game and then you know again i i did it yesterday for the first time with remind it it's just like this works so well like it reminded you so who brought that up Shinoa because I saw that you posted it from Shinoa yeah like I, I've done it three times once with Plum once with her once with Remind and th and that's that but it each time is like it, it just works so well to to create insights right so when can we do one well I'm I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to Maybe finalize because okay. each time I print it I'm sort of making adjustments and it's it's okay. getting closer but as okay. soon as I feel it's, you know, kind of close enough, yeah. I'll, I'll send you the PDF so you can print one. Yeah. And, and then okay. we just have to, and, and the thing is, it's, it's, it's honestly like printing money, right? Because once you've got the initial thing, it's, it's, we just have to arrange a kind of percentage deal. Yeah. And okay. um, as, as soon as someone wants to buy one, you just go to the printer and print it off, right? Like it. Exactly. But, it, but at the beginning, I think you guys should sort of, I think you should use them first. Don't sell any yet. No, no, we'll no. Get, get people coming through the door, and then we got to figure out what's the best way to kind of go into the bigger markets, kind of thing. Yeah. So if you can, you said they're twenty by thirty. Yeah. Okay. Twenty inches by thirty. Put them on that press board or that home board. Home board. Yeah. Okay. So you might want to look at finding maybe, maybe because I think twenty is a good number. If you if you look for. 10 square tables oh. you know you know those little fold up square tables i've got like three of them yeah. um you might want to purchase let's say 10 of them yeah we have four yeah. of them here but they're not fold up because they'll be in the coffee shop but so they'll be fine for now yeah. okay oh, those will work perfect yeah. for that yeah. but, but then and again because you got the upstairs space 
basically, basically you could have, you know, just, I don't know how many, you know, 10 tables, if you could do 10 tables downstairs, but it, if you use oh. the whole space, you could have 20 people, right? And oh, yeah. one person facilitating upstairs, one person facilitating, and you can have again, like singles nights, couples nights, oh. like it, like then you start to see, and I think this is a lot easier as a cell in terms of the, uh, uh, the scheduling of time, right? Like people come in. You just have an evening that's a singles night, a couples night, just like they do dance classes she yeah. used to do upstairs. Yeah. Okay, so when, Elijah, do you kind of have a roundabout time that you'll have this done? Well, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm just doing the next iteration today. Huh? What, maybe what I can do is when I, I'll, maybe the, the one that I come up with today, because it, it on my end, it costs 50, about $50 to print. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. um, yeah. So when I get the one finished today, I'll send it to you as a PDF. So you, and you can print one out so you guys can start using it between yourselves. And then we need to get a little bit of feedback of going, I like this, this doesn't work. And you'll see that it, it's very custom designable. Okay. Like, we're, 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 like, like there's, there's a game called Magic. I don't know if you know Magic the Gathering. But it's no. the, it's the most popular card game in the world, and and what they have is they have multiple decks. It's the first card game where you build multiple decks. But what we're going to do is we're going to build multiple decks and multiple game boards. So we're going to be able to custom design game boards and card sets for people. So perfect! Wow, who can custom design exactly, Elijah? That's what people want. What fits you? Because what fits me, what fits Sylvia, what yeah. fits that person is all different. So they can put it to what fits for them and it'll be, you'll have the main one so you can make the changes and then we can get some printed. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of really interested in when you're done that and you get it to us, our next meeting with Sylvia and I would be us sitting at each end of the game board, you on the iPad, watching and explaining what we have to do. Ah, that'd be lovely. Yeah. 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 We'll do a, a game in the Congo Cafe. We'll have it set up. We'll have a little bit of a whatever to it. And then we'll just start because there is magic in gathering. Oh, huge. There's huge. total magic in gathering. And I, and I think that this, this one is, uh, again, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it, it, it makes so much sense now that you start with a two person. You don't start with an eight person, but. <laughs> Or like person, that, yeah. but a little more um, interpersonal, intimate. Like the, the the more people you add, the the more difficult it gets in a sense, right? Like people aren't getting as so much attention; they they have to wait. So, but the two person is like just it's perfect, right? It's back and forth. Oh, this is so good because who doesn't want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah. And the main oh. thing, and the main thing about the game is they're you're answering questions, right? So right now it's called Insight Duel. Okay. And I, I, I'm not quite sure about the name, but it's just for now, it's just, it's going to be that. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys come up with any ideas, that's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll put our thinking caps on for creativity. Like I, there's no doubt. It sounds cool. Insight duel, but I'm okay. But duel to me sounds like a, a fight almost. And like you're having, right? Well, it, it, it's kind of like it's 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 bringing kind of like old paradigm mentality and then the transformation is in, as opposed to killing each other, you're, you're giving each other insights into each other so you can have a more intimate connection. So like du duality? Well, and that's like dual and duality, insight dual, like it. Yeah. What about insight fuel? Insight mm -hmm. fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about that? Um, what does fuel do? It ignites insight fuel that's that's it well it's an interesting one i'll, I'll, I'll send you this. i just thought of it and that's that because it's about insights but it's the insights that fuel the other person uh -huh. to ignite something within them exactly something's getting triggered so ignite fuel because uh -huh. fuel is the 852 in the way i do the money stuff oh, that's right okay. that's great fuel that's is great. the 852 which is action which is marketing, what does it cost? And how creative is it? How, what's the product we need to put together, right? Right. I don't know. It's God, you know, what, do you know what this is gonna do? This is gonna, this is gonna fuel an entrepreneurial, you know, um, explosion in Saskatchewan, right? 
Oh, it, it will be, be too much for you, it so. will be big and it might yeah. not be. No, maybe not. Well, Shirley, or Wendy, um, Sylvia is just saying, you know, if we had it ready for the Visionator camp and we really created a simple version of playing it, you know who's going to open their eyes to this is these kids. Okay. Okay. Um, what would it, you know, I mean, that, that's a thought. That's a really Well, I, I, I would love to have it at a kid's level. I mean, the, the let's think yeah. about that. Think about the... Um, And maybe it's just getting the basics of some of the combo types, right? Like, again, you're choosing, like, maybe we do an assessment, like, maybe like, they don't have to have the full range, but they get, like, uh, uh, they get it, they get, like, as they progress through your camp, they get another card, right? They love collecting cards. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of it, they have their own game board and their own cards. Oh, my goodness. Hey. And you see where kids go with that, right? Yeah. <gasps> like, I mean, we'd have to just do the cards on some heavy paper for now, yeah. right? And laminate them, but that would be fine for now, Elijah. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it, again, I, I've got a good printer here. Like, I'm just getting a quote now for the for cut cards, so it shouldn't yeah. be a problem, right, to get as many as you need. <gasps> yes, that's a really cool idea because we don't need to use the whole board we just have to put a simplistic way of working it with it with kids but get them excited yeah oh so you might want to maybe grab a few kids before the camp and test it out with them yeah. so, do it, yeah. so maybe you, you can give me some sort of like deadlines and stuff like that for yeah. when you need them and, and things well we um and, and so would you shift it a little bit even with the with this board, would you shift it a little bit to make it for kids, to make a kid's version? Is oh, that sure. of course. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like another name? Uh, Something bringing us to the world. Yeah. We'd be able and, to find, like I could get Jackson to come. Yeah. So well, how many kids would we want? Four kids to test it? Two, two sets of two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four kids. Yeah, maybe like um, next okay. week. Maybe next week we could do it. Yeah, so we'll round up four kids, and if there's four that are registered, we could say to these kids, because you were the early registrants, because we just put out a scholarship. Kaylee did a scholarship offering, and then one kid will get a scholarship because the schools are already sharing all this. The schools are sharing the Visionator camp on their Facebook. Oh, my God. So if we get, if we could say to four kids that are registered, and then what we'll do is once the scholarship is, someone gets it, we're going to know which kids applied for the scholarship and then we're going to i'm going to challenge businesses because i sponsored a kid lr future oh. we're going to we're going to cha i'm going to challenge other businesses to sponsor a kid love it yeah and then it gets people engaged it gets them going look what these guys are doing love it yeah so that's the plan so what age of kids like our ages are eight to twelve so yeah so eight to yeah, twelve yeah. is our camp well, have you thought of having a teen entrepreneur camp? Well, eight to twelve, not yet, but I'm it, sure we should. Because I think I think the the teens would be, you know, at an age probably a lot more sophisticated with conceptual thinking, right? It would be like eight is pretty young. Yeah. See, because Christy had a kid that was eight. I think that's where the eight came in. Because she wants all her kids to be able to be there. So mm -hmm. I think that's how did you guys get eight? Probably that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what he's, what Elijah's saying oh, is, let's yeah. get teens. Right. Like, can you imagine your girls when they were teens? They oh, weren't very old when they no. just worked with Lauren. No. no. And they were just engaged. Yeah. So we can create something. We'll do something. We'll do an invitation. Because I already had a teacher ask me the other day, that my daughter would really like to do this. What if she brought six of her friends? And then it could be a friend's night. Mm -hmm. You know, we do a friend's night, but for teens. For sure. Because you said singles nights, couples nights, friends nights for teens. And so part part of like looking at the visionary hub and then going, okay, like here's the lunar schedule, here the, here's the the four weeks, and then you go, you know, you're looking at, you know, here's for couples, you know, here's for parents, here's for you identify all the niches. Mm -hmm. And then and then we we custom custom design programs for, for them, right? Right. Custom and then you just and then you just and repeat 
repeat the cycle once you've figured out your cycle. So you guys should sit down and really map out that that lunar cycle for both of you going like, this, this is when I want to facilitate. This is when I get because you got to balance your operations with your services, right? You're, you're the time you're not working with the time that you are. Yeah. And then start to look at, I think, you know, a facilitator training program, because you guys are going to have to start to train facilitators to actually work through all these things or else you guys are going to have to work all the time. Right. So I don't want to do that. That's what Kaylee said. We said, you know, we'll put a price on it and we'll do facilitator training. Um, just like points of view did. They got country captains for the countries and now they're building up and they're doing facilitator training and you're going through the points of view Academy to get your level of be, to be able to do it. And you get, the, you buy the cards, yeah. you buy the tools, but then you can go out there and facilitate it to the people. And that's how we're going to get it to the world. Yeah. But we're the distributors right. in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my wow. gosh. So Elijah, you have a little bit of work to do to get all the prices kind of, so yeah. that we have price points to work off of. So we know what our price points are going to be for everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big thing I got to do. But it's another to buy the product. Right. Yeah. And to be educated and facilitated, like it could be like a three different training sessions that are five hundred ninety nine or fifteen hundred bucks or ten thousand yeah, dollars. It's going to be ten yeah. grand. Yeah. yeah. Ninety nine ninety nine. Like that's what I'm seeing, Elijah. Yeah. For first in. Yes, for the first in. For first in, right? And then uh, after yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. Because essentially what we're aiming at doing is teaching people to make a minimum wage of $100 an hour. Okay. Like that's sure. also another selling point. Like that's, that's going to destroy university, you know, sure. spend 30 grand, go there and come out, make 25 an hour, as opposed to spend maybe nine months, mm -hmm. a few grand and make a hundred an hour. Like oh, wow. that basic yeah. mathematical sure. equation. I, that. Sure I like that. So teaching people. So that, what is the product that we're using? Because Rob's asking us, because remember we're doing the old fashioned strategic planning? Yeah. And Rob's asking us, what are the products that you guys have? Well, now we have a game board to add. Yeah, and all the game boards, right? At some point, they'll all, they'll all be there. Yeah, so game boards, we did not put in there. No, but I, I just, I put info matrix. Because remember, new paradigm toolkit, it's maps, card sets, game boards, processes, and software. I didn't put that in oh, one. see, I never broke mine down. I retyped up the notes that you and I, I never really go retype notes, I just keep the written notes. I retyped the last notes you and I and Sylvia had because they were powerful. Yeah, yeah very exact. They were powerful. When you said the distributors, and I go, holy shit. That's big. And then what I want to see us do, Elijah, now this is going to step again, is so many trades or careers need education hours. So we want to get it qualified for insurance brokers, healthcare professionals, massage therapists. We want to get CE credits okay. so that we sell this to people. We go, this gives you three CE credits. Okay. How do you, how does that work? Well, I, well, like when I had my insurance license, I had to have 15 credits a year and 10 of the credits had to be linked to insurance, but the other five could be personal development. Huh. So we just have to find out what's available out there, who needs CE credits, and that's a research, that's research, man. So, you know, it's like who needs, like massage therapists need CE credits. Um, this course that I, the wave of leadership, talk to financial people, doctors, nurses, everybody, they all need CE credits. Huh. So it qualifies people for CE credits by signing up for the conference. Okay. So it's kind of that push in because, oh, really? I can mm -hmm. go and do that as a nurse and I can get six education hours? Why wouldn't I? So Lonnie Park would be someone we would talk to. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we can talk. Well, what we'll start doing is, I mean, the insurance is easy because I already know that. That's 15 hours a year. But I've got to kind of reaffirm or reconfirm how many of those hours can be off of insurance. Okay. Right? So, okay. So I think that I think that would become a big e, big in for me because look at that there. Awesome. CE yeah. credits. I did points of view. It gave me CE credits for my coaching because you okay. need so many hours for coaching. So we could put that out to the coaches in the world. For sure. 
because they need CE credits as well. Oh my goodness. That's something that we'll, we thought about it a while ago, but I just haven't, yeah, we haven't talked about that. I haven't been persistent no. with it. We talked about this before even Christy and Terry even come into play. We talked about yeah, CE credits. Oh, we, we talked it with the Life Learning Center way back in those back. days yeah. with right. Michelle and that crew. Okay. So it's just a matter of who needs accredited education hours. Huh. For their how job. do we become accredited? How do we become accredited yeah. that our hours will qualify? Right. Start with one organization and we start yeah. to build on that. Yeah. But we make a list of 10 different types of jobs and careers that require that. And if we want kind of people with that mindset, well, nurses, um, massage therapists would be mm -hmm. good. They're already kind of in that mindset yeah, of healing yeah. chiropractors. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, that that's another, that's a research another job. Yeah. But it's big. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. If we can be promoting um, CE credits through our academy or whatever it's going to be called at the Visionary Hub, we'll freaking rock. And it's going to introduce people to it because they can do it through work. It's usually paid for because often their jobs mm -hmm. pay for it. Yeah, I don't know what they oh, would no. need. No, no, yeah. that would be no. just self development. That would be that we self -development. Offer. This yeah. is chiros, massage, insurance brokers, life insurance agents. Yeah. You know, um, coaches. I don't know. Like it just takes a little bit of thinking. So, and and we could just bring a people a few people together and just say, hey, we're just doing a brainstorming. We really need your help. And we could sit in a circle here and we can just go, hey, these are things we're looking for. Do you know Tom Seeley would be good? Social I'm workers. Just writing them down. Were you? Yeah. We need social workers, right? Social workers probably need ours. What a great group to get into if they get this acknowledging and we're help we're helping people get from Maslow's hierarchy bottom level up a level or two by what we're introducing to the world. How beautiful would that be? Hey, I just sent you that map, the the guild map. Have you emailed it? Oh, okay. You sent the guild map to by messenger. Okay, so <laughs> almost at the end, but you wanted to uh, clarify the customer ally and uh, yeah. Well, yeah. we've been doing a bit of that. I mean, I I essentially have to create the estimate form. That's that's my next big. Okay. Thing. Great. Ally equals members. Just so that we're aware of it. And tribe is the. No. Tribe, tribe is a, tribe is the same as members. Tribe is the members and and the allies. Okay. And allies are organizations. You know who else we can like HR, HR, um, the HR within organizations. Yeah, that's going to be your main entry point, I think, into the larger corps. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. And then that gets all the individual people within those organizations. Okay, so HR will be big. I just got to find somebody that's an HR person that can give me the whole depth of it. Yeah. How do you contact them? How do you? And you know, what their buy their buying cycle is, and how and how, and how they bring in outside training. Because yeah. I would yeah. think in Saskatchewan that they're really, it's a pretty small clique, I would imagine. You know, it um, is. So there must be some sort of HR association. Yeah, I don't know, but I'll find out. But that's the thing with all of these different trades; they're all associations, like the Insurance yeah. Brokers Association of Saskatchewan. And then there's an Insurance Brokers Association of BC. Go yeah. by that. Every province has associations, so we don't. We can do Saskatchewan. We can branch to Manitoba and Alberta. Awesome. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, yeah, yeah LinkedIn would be our LinkedIn would be a very big way to get out there in that capacity. Yeah, for businesses. Okay, Elisha, are you on LinkedIn? Do you use LinkedIn at all? I eliminated my LinkedIn. Um, I I link I eliminated my Instagram and my LinkedIn and all my. I, I sort of had a, a moment of, uh, I don't want to be in social media anymore. <laughs> Good for you. But you know, Facebook is okay because what it is, is now it's up to us to spread the wings because you're the originator and the inventor. Mm. We will market it. We will take the services out to the world, but you're there to say, what do you guys need? 
What is it you need to get out there? Because we're going to be, I'm the seven. I'm out there going, here's what the people need. Yeah. Be, what's the operations we need to have mm -hmm. happening here to bring what this is to the people. And he can create anything. Oh, I know he can. <laughs> We're talking about you in front of you. <laughs> well, it's true. It is like a one, four, seven. I'm kind of like the originator. Four, seven. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess in the two, five, eight. Eight, five, two, like yeah. I'm the five. Lori's the eight and Sylvia's the two in a sense. Exactly. And I think if we start really honing in on our conversations around that, and we have that conversation, it keeps us focused. Yeah. And we're going, holy shit. This is like magic. <laughs> so here's what Lindsay said to me after my call last night. She goes, I see you shining strong, your enthusiasm sharing a clear message that encourages people to want to create their best life today. For sure. So, because she asked me what our mission and vision statement was, and I said, well, we're kind of like the hub, visionary hub is happiness, understanding, and balance, changing or shifting the story of your life. But I don't like that because, but maybe, I don't know. I like the happiness, understanding, balance. She goes, there's your vision statement. Well, that's not a or mission so, statement. Yeah. Well, you, I guess you got to kind of make a sentence out of that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, a sentence, yeah. But happiness, understanding, and balance with hub, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then shift the story of your life or, yeah. or illuminate the story of your life or whatever. It'll come. It'll come. That's all we need. That's all it is is by utilizing happiness, understanding, and balance, you can change the story of your life. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got the values. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so my big takeaways is like I I got to get you a two person game board to test yeah. out. You got to get some kids to t to okay. next week. Um, and I got to come up with the estimate form. And then yeah. that estimate form is going to be really be, be your entry point into finding out. I think the estimate form plus I think the survey is probably before the estimate form. And then they come in, sit down with you, and then you they go then you go through some sort of assessment with the estimate form or what they want. Yes. So now that's you know, whether that's out to customers, right? So Sylvie and I need to do the same thing as the founders. To say people want to come in in some capacity what is the process the assessment that they we need to go through with them you don't go and just go to a job and hire someone just because you see them you see their resume you yeah. get them for referrals you do all this stuff yeah it's just to have a freaking job never mind to be a founder in a company <laughs> <laughs> come on in oh yeah you're right with us <laughs> well, did I tell you what rob said to me the other day when i was talking about that yeah he goes yeah that's more renting just let the strays in <laughs> oh, that's me well, I mean, yeah. right now we have melissa that wants to do oh. all four maps and wants to learn this and you know like get so she so she can be your test case in terms of uh, yeah. uh taking yeah. her through the process kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be good. She should, she'd love to do that. And then she would bring other people. We said, Melissa, we need three more people besides you to come in and do two game boards to go through yeah. a process. She would find those people. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We should talk to her because yeah. she's she's good. Yeah, she's good. She's already done a full map. She's all about naturopathic stuff and, you know, things like that. She's coaching right now, personal coaching with Christy. So under Christy's step up coaching. So let's say she stepped in here and we connected. I would have coached with her as the visionary hub. Right. Because I'm 110% committed to the hub. Yes. <laughs> or maybe 115. Or 111. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think that's, I don't know if you've had that conversation yet, but I think that, I mean, she did come through the visionary hub. Mm -hmm. So. You know, yeah. I mean, that's I don't know what that looks like, you know, like, because we've had the conversation about um, coaching and what percentage comes back to the home. But yeah. when I 
said, like, the dare to be you as a bigger platform, we said 50-50. No problem. It, it makes five grand, 25 goes to the hub because the hub does all the marketing, gets it out there. Sylvia's doing the work. And then 50 to the presenters, presenters to the facilitators. So we were thinking the same thing in coaching, but Christy said, no, you're doing a way more work on one-on-one -on -one coaching. So it should be maybe 80-20. 80-20. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's sort of different when you're doing a bigger program with a lot of people versus one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So that was kind of a number we had in mind was 80-20. That sort of works. I, th I think the 20% commission is a good is a good commission kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I that's, again, part of the estimate form where I really got to look at the numbers of this stuff. So that's, you know, we got to work it out. Yeah, for sure. We will. It'll come. Okay, awesome. Okay, so is, is that good for the day? I think we're good. Yeah, I think so. Anything else, Sylvia? Not right off hand. No. And you sent me that other map, that guild map. Yeah. I, what's that map called? Um, that's, uh, what's that? You'll, called you, you'll see. Map. You'll see. I think Lindsay also brought up the eight. There's another eight map that has um, context, perspective, um goals data. values data experience yeah. meaning and significance i don't think we've done that map no we haven't yeah. i've been i've seen that map before but i we haven't done that though. because as you know like at every level there's a nine map and an eight map and i usually put forward the nine map and then the eight is sort of in the background because i don't want to overwhelm too much but i uh, you guys will have to decide or we both have to decide and whether if you guys want to continue the coaching yeah. um because i think we're at the end of the coaching for the second module so yeah um just okay. we'll have to talk about that well we're going to continue well, we because to. we have yeah. to do the game boards and stuff like that so okay. we'll go for another let's do our let's so continue maybe, do we do the next four together though no, i would i think mm -hmm. and get the game board refined mm -hmm. because our event starts on july 12th okay july 12th yeah okay so we're a bit of a tight okay okay and if we decide that's what we're going to use, we can utilize yeah. that within our program that way, then that's something that would be a focus. Okay. 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 Great to see you, ladies. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful time. Bye.